All right. First, thank you all for being here. A um, little different uh, setting than we had a week ago. And so um, I want to start off just I want to thank our fans. Uh, we had a great crowd at the man trip and a lot of energy. Beautiful day. That helps, too. And then um, I thought our fans turned out. Uh, today for a non-conference game, especially after we didn't perform very well a week ago. And so really happy for them to stay behind our team. And, and it, was a, it was a good atmosphere. And it was loud in the first half. And, and a lot of them stayed. And, and I hope they enjoyed the light show there uh, in the second half. Um, it's always good to win. It's hard to do. Um, and my man Tony Caridi told me yesterday or two days ago that less than 3% of the year are, are, are game days. And that kind of resonated with me. And so um, I trumped him. I said 1.9% of them are home games. And so uh, when we get those opportunities, we need to enjoy them. And winning's hard. Um, and I was proud of our guys for bouncing back. And Albany's got a good FCS football team. And, and they did some nice things. They, they minimized possessions. They held the ball. Um, they did a nice job. And they're well coached. And the kids play really, really hard. And I thought they showed – uh, well on, on a bigger stage today. And they'll, they're will they going to win their share of games and be very competitive um, in the CAA. I'll start defensively. I thought our rush defense was really good. Our end of possession downs were good. Uh, we got off the field on fourth down, um, which was which was a positive. Um, I thought Ben Cutter and Anthony Wilson were really active in the game. You know, um, we didn't get any takeaways. We had our hands, you know, try it. And, uh, and Rod both had opportunities to get picks. Um, and we got to play the ball down the field better. I think that's that's evident. Uh, offensively, you know, we really had three bad plays in the game, um, and and the rest of them we kind of kind of show beginnings of what we're capable of being, which is a team that's balanced, that can run and can throw it. We got multiple weapons. Um, Garrett had a ball slip out of his hand, and then and then made a poor pass on one possession there where we where we punted, and then Jaheim learned a hard lesson, man. You got to hold the ball the right way, and and he had it he had it out the whole run, and it was a explosive run but they got it out and so really three bad plays but you know we were five for five in the red zone and that was a huge flip from what we did a week ago um we had 200 yard rushers i thought we threw and, and caught the ball uh, quite a bit better than we did a week ago and so um and then on special teams did a nice job we we're able to play a lot of people on special teams um played more on on defense than probably offense just because of how the game went uh, i wanted to get more guys in we just it, it was a fast game, uh, which I know nobody in here is complaining about, but I'd like to play it a few more people. So, um, But all in all, good win, and um, we're going to enjoy it, and then we'll get ready for, for the brawl. So questions? Greg? Neil, start with the offense, specifically the offensive line. seemed like they had their way pretty well. Mm -hmm. Your field view, how, how do you think the front played? Yeah, better. You know, in, in a week ago, the numbers are a little deceiving because we had all those negative plays, but – um, really only had two negative rushing plays. Um, and so I thought we were pretty clean. They tried to um, slant and kind of junk up the middle, but I thought we sorted it out pretty well. Uh, the only blitz we missed was a running back. That was the only time they got pressure on Garrett. Um, and so uh, a good day. And, and our expectations are high for those guys. You know, we've got guys up there that played a lot of football, and, and we, can, we need them to continue to play at a high level and continue to get better. Had seven different people find the end zone. How big is that for confidence with your playmakers? Well, it's it's good. I mean, you know, I don't really care who scores. You know, I'm more into the, just the scoring piece of it. But it's good for team morale. Um, in in these games, you want to get guys touches, and I thought we did a good job distributing the ball. Um, the fact that we that we had seven different score touchdowns. Um, it is a positive just because it rewards people. It rewards, it rewards guys for working. And so I was really proud of Nico. I thought he had a nice drive there. Uh, I wanted to get him two or three more. Um, but, again, it was just kind of an odd game. It was really fast. We had fewer possessions than we normally do. Um, we only ran 58 plays. Um, and so um, – but I was proud of him because I thought he was really efficient in how he, how he navigated. He had a really tough read on his touchdown run, and he, he made the right decision. After kind of a – a rough outing against Penn State. How would you evaluate the wide receiver beyond mm -hmm. just the numbers, getting separation, getting open? Yeah. Game? Well, it wasn't kind of rough. Like, the whole team was rough. Like, you're right, Mike. Okay. You're, you're, it's <laughs> fair. The whole thing was rough. Uh, not just the wideouts, the really every phase of it, except special teams. Um, though We got good players at wideout. And we won last week against man coverage. Um, we didn't throw it as well, and we made some drops. 
but we won. Like if you go back and watch the film, like our wideouts won the whole time. You know, so when I when I'm watching it, when I'm when I'm frustrated with how they played, it's really more. I was frustrated they didn't run guys off when it was man coverage in the run game because we'd had three or four more explosive runs and they know what to do. Um, and then we had some some drops and some 50-50 balls we don't we didn't make in that game, that's where the frustration. But we won versus man. We won versus man today. We have the ability to win versus man against everybody we play. Now, we're going to get tested next week, you know, watch Pitt a little bit, but but I know Narduzzi, and they're going to line up and they're going to challenge our receivers because that's what they do. Um, so we got to continue to get better. But I was proud. I thought Jaden Bray made a really good contested catch there in the third quarter, um, and I thought the guys uh, did a nice job. You had some play on those downfield balls. Does it seem like maybe some of the guys were trying to go up the home run ball, or what, what did you see on some of those? Well, I don't think they were trying to. Um, now we did, but um, I think what um, we got to do a better job playing the ball in the air. You know, like we had the PI call and we were in coverage, but we didn't look back, so it's the right call. And then we had two other times where um, we didn't make the play down the field, really because. We didn't, we didn't have eyes back. We got to do a better job of just playing the ball in the air, and that's something we can continue to work in practice. And here's the deal. Number seven's a good player. You know, he's a really good player. And he made two really – I mean, he started at Oregon, and they're not in the business of signing bad players, and he can play. He can play. He was really good last week um, in their first game, and he made a bunch of plays uh, today, and he's a good player. And he made two – really highly contested plays. One of them was on a bender in the in the second quarter, and the other one was the first play of the third quarter, the first play of the second half. Those those were big-time plays. Dis disappointed you give up three, third, 15-plus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's an obvious yes, right? Um, and we went into the game. We wanted to play more, more man coverage, um, and we did. Um, and, and that's what we were in on two of those. And – so we got to mix it up. You know, you kind of pick and choose what you're going to do in these games. Um, and, and sometimes you need a tendency break. Sometimes you need a um, trial and error, which you can do. And so we learned some things we can do. We learned some things we can't do. You weren't very happy with Garrett's reads last week. You, your thoughts on his reads better today? Yeah, he just did a better job of being in control. You know, he was he just got real um, uh, almost too high. He's excitable. And I think you'll see that. And you got to be real careful because he does have high energy. And he, so I don't ever want to like, like uh, put out that flame. But at the same thing, same time, he can't get overly high. He's got to, he's got to continue to play within himself. And I thought he did a better job of that. And we did a better job of, of, of really talking about that as a week, you know, whether it's um, our sports psychologist, our, our staff. You know, and, and he did a better under, understanding. He, he Listen, he is great. He, he handles the truth, the hard truth. And he didn't play as well as he's capable of playing last week. Um, and he took that. And just like the whole team, like you got to own it, you got to learn from it, you got to grow. And, and we did that this week, and we got to continue to do that. Coach, comments on any concerns still on the secondary? Uh, oh, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, we didn't – Yeah, we didn't – we didn't uh, – we didn't – I think I said that in the opening. We didn't play the downfield pass um, as well as we need to, you know, and they had 300 yards passing. Um, and I, and I, said, I think I said this last week too. Sometimes the stat sheet doesn't, say, doesn't tell the story, but sometimes it does. And, like, 300 yards passing is. And we got to get better. I didn't think we played real fast back there, you know. And so we've got we've to figure out why that is. We didn't play real fast. Now, we did a much better job getting aligned, and we did a much better job of – uh, of handling their formations, but we didn't play the ball in the air very well, and we just didn't. I didn't think we played real fast. You know, coming off the goal line, that's something you guys rehearse a bunch, right? Mm -hmm. But then you get in the open field, and I don't know, the guy you try to play with tempo and just do different stuff. How do you balance out like the stuff you know you're good at to get out of there, and then to get to the stuff that is different but still effective? Yeah. So that was the first time. Um, I think it's first. Well, I know it is because I was asking Monty. That's the first time we went 99 since um, TCU here in, during COVID in 20. Um, yeah, so what you do is you have a plan for what you're going to do getting off, you know, and, and, and we practice that uh, twice during the week. And we usually stick pretty close to that. And then really once we get off where you're not going to get a, a holding call in the end zone or you're not going to uh, have potential grounding, 
or you can get a uh, a safety. So that's usually around the six yard line. We just play it normal and just go, and, that, and that's kind of how we did it tonight too. Um, probably a simple question here, but that right after the goal line stand, maybe not what you yeah. wanted to see, but you needed that, I'm guessing. Yeah, we did. I, I don't necessarily think the game was in um, was in question, but that was a huge flip of it. You know, like that that stop. And then us going ahead and scoring put the game out of reach. Um, and so now probably the ball should have never gotten down there because two of those uh, third downs we just talked about were on that drive. And so – but it was. It was a great goal line stop. I thought we were really good on fourth downs today on both sides. Um, and so, you know, talking about stats, that's one of the stats that they should have is the end of possession stat, not necessarily third and fourth downs because you look at it, you're like one of six on third downs. But we really only didn't make one, you know, and so um, it's a uh, it's a little misleading sometimes. But I thought our our end of possession downs on both offense and defense were were positives today. Neil, what do you think That's about really... that second defensive line rotation? Um, just your evaluation and TJ Jackson uh, is he a guy that could move around potentially? Mm -hmm. Yeah, TJ Jackson is really active, man, and uh, I think he's a. Uh, I think he is. Uh, he's been a positive pickup. Uh, he works every day. Uh, really proud of him. He's been active both games. He played really. He was one of the high points um, against Penn State. He just didn't finish on the quarterback. Um, but he's. He really moves. He's our best move guy we've had since Darius. Um, and so, uh, he's a really good player. And we got those guys. Asani Redwood's coming on. You know, I thought he did some some nice things uh, following up. A uh, really successful bowl game. He did some nice things against Penn State. Um, it's hard to tell O-line, D-line until you watch the film. But those guys, we have a lot of confidence in them. Uh, Miles Burkett seemed like he had a lot of arm talent. Just what did you see from their quarterback? Yeah, he did a nice job. Uh, played a lot better than he did in week one. Um, and he's a kid that's that was a, a power four transfer. He came in from Wisconsin. I thought he was tough. That's probably the best compliment I could give him. I thought he was tough. He took some hits. Um, and did it. He, their their center was a little off on his snaps. He had to handle some of those and still threw the ball. Um, and I thought some of his seam balls were good. Were really big time throws. Any news uh, on Eddie? Best friend? Yeah, I think we'll we got an MRI. They got it back. So probably he'll probably be out a few weeks. We'll we'll kind of determine how long. I'll know better on Monday. CJ and uh, Jaheem both hit the 100 yard mark rushing. Um, would you say that was more on the running backs being hot or the uh, O-line doing their jobs or both? Yeah, I think both. Yeah, both. I think in the run game, it's always uh, – it's really um, the team effort, the schematic piece of it, and then the athlete carrying the ball, right? And so the team effort of it is it's, it's offensive line, tight end, and receivers, you know, because most of the schemes that we're doing tie in the receivers a lot of times at the point of attack. Then there's schematic, you know, putting them in a schematic advantage, which is what you try to do in the run game. And the, and the third thing is the athlete, right? And so both those guys are high-end players, but I think it was a compilation of all three tonight. Albany only had 29 yards on the first three series. Anything you can pinpoint as to why the defense has been better early in these first two games? No, I, I think that's, that's not um, – unique just to our defense because a lot of times offenses just take a little while to get into to a rhythm a little bit. And so um, I thought we came out and played really fast early. Um, and then here's the other thing, too, is they started taking shots down the field, and that's where they had success. You know, the first three or four kickoffs all went into the corner? Is it, is that well, what? we're trying to kick it there. We're not trying to kick it out of bounds. But we do want to um, – there's, there's, there's an advantage to kicking it in the corner. Um, we really aim for the numbers. Is kind of if if we could take the ball and place it down there, it'd be in the numbers. Um, but he didn't get. He didn't. I think he was trying to overplay the wind. I don't know if y'all could tell in the press box, but the wind was kind of circling a little bit. Uh, so when you're kicking toward the hospital, it was. And I think he overplayed it and kicked it out of bounds. But we are trying to pin them down there. That way we can get our coverage lanes down into that corner. That strategy just. Takes away yeah, it takes away half the field, yeah. And we run really well in that unit. We've, we've gotten a lot better. You played with your punt team the first two, two weeks? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I wish we didn't punt today, you know. Um, and so, but, yeah, Ollie's playing well. You know, his family's in from Australia, and, and he's performing well for those guys. So, so I'm, I'm proud of him. And then we do a good job with our coverage, too. Like our gunners, like those are kind of the hidden guys behind that. 
Summers at linebacker. Last week it was Josiah Trotter. This mm -hmm. week it seems like Reed Carrico was all over the place. How do you feel that – how do they contribute to, to this team? Yeah, that this is the best group we've had. we got more depth there. You know, I thought Ben Cutter, I said that in the open, I thought he was really good tonight. And Reed, and Reed Carrico made some plays on kickoff and on, on defense. So he's been a positive addition too. Um, but, yeah, that's the deepest group that we've had. Did uh, did Jordan get taken out on the sideline? He did. Yeah, so, well, he might have no more on Monday too, but, like, he did. And, and credit to him and our credit to our medical staff because he got – he really got hit hard on the sideline and, and really concerned. He went about a series, maybe more, where he didn't call the defense. Uh, Shadon called it. and uh, um, But he got hit – yeah, he got hit extremely hard. Okay, thanks, Coach. Yep, thanks.